Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Austin from Awful Media, and today we'll be starting the brand new inventory system in Unity 3D. This will take a lot of the stuff from the last series and just make it better. We'll be using the new UI, be using JSON for our database, and we'll have a basic stacking system. And this is not the end goal. This is just uh, where we are right now. And we can extend this way beyond this based on your suggestions below. And before we get started, I want to mention that this is going to be funded by my Patreon campaign. You can check out a link in the description below. If you want to support me, become a patron, you will receive some rewards in return, such as this inventory itself for your support. You can get support from me. You can be in a video with me, all kinds of different things. And there's some cool tiers up to live streaming some cool game dev stuff. So let's, let's get that going. Let's, let's make that happen. I've got some awesome support already and I'm looking forward to, uh, to growing the channel using that. Here we go. This is what we have. A basic inventory so far. You have your slots, you have your items, you have a tool tip when you hover over it. You can click and drag items and drop it where you want to. And you have a trash where you can just drop stuff in. It shows how easy it is to remove items from the inventory. You have basic stacking. This will be uh, extended upon in the future, I'm sure, based on requests. You have a way to add items, so if I want to add some items, I can do that. No problem. Uh, da, 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 da. As you can see, it's no problem. Everything's working. Drag and drop to swap. All that stuff. So, let's get started doing this. I'm going to close that. I have here an inventory assets folder. Within this, I have some graphics, items, and UI. Items are just the sprites for the items. UI are just some basic sprites for the uh, actual UI elements. Then I have a font and some item data stuff that will probably be writing from scratch anyway. That's just a reference for how I want to structure it. And these UI elements can be downloaded from Open Game Art. They are by Kenny, K-E-N-N-E-Y. He makes a lot of awesome uh, free assets and they are really just helpful for prototyping a game. I have used them many times, and I hope you guys have been using them. If not, check them out. Open Game Art, K-E-N-N-E-Y. So what I wanna do is I wanna drag these into my project. I have a brand new project here. There's nothing in here except for the default Unity stuff. In my assets folder, I want to create a folder, and I'm gonna call this uh, let's see. I'm trying to figure out how I want to structure this. If we do a sprites, and then within sprites, we'll have items. And then also within sprites, we'll have UI. And we can drag our sprites for, let's see, let's drag our items into the items folder. And we'll drag our UI elements into the UI folder. And each of these will have to be sliced up so that we can scale it. Now, what that means is we're going to define a border for our sprites. So if I go to it and I create it, make it a sprite, and I'm going to go to Sprite Editor, what I'll do is I'll drag these down, or you can type in if you know what, uh, what the values would be, drag these borders down until they get past the border itself into, where you have just open color right in these elements here. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to uh, stretch out the element and not distort any of the graphics. It, we can set it to repeat the border itself. And the corners will also not be stretched out as they will just be the single corner. And we're not going to stretch the corner anyway at all. So by doing this, we will have a sliced sprite. I'm going to apply that just like it is. And we'll have to do this to each one of these. I'm going to go to the panel. Make it a sprite. Go to Sprite Editor. Apply that to that one there. And then we're going to drag it down. Lines up. Problem. Apply. Okay. Apply that. Now our panel. I just did. I don't even use the inset, I don't think. So we don't need that. And I don't know what I'll be using that for. So we don't need that. So I have the long graphic the square graphic and the actual panel graphic itself. Now that I have the graphics to make up the UI, let's go ahead and start crafting it. I'm going to go to UI, I'm going to go to panel, and this is going to be the actual inventory window. So I'm going to call this inventory panel. 
Within inventory panel, we're going to create, uh, see another panel will work. And I'm gonna call this slot panel. So we have the actual window for the inventory and we can drag this down to something like an inventory. But what we'll do later on is fine tune this to fit our items in a, in a nicer way. But for now, just get the rough size and the slot panel. The idea behind this is this will just be the parent for the slots. So inventory panel will be the entire inventory itself. Slot panel would just be what contains the slots. So let's say we could just drag this down here like that. And that way we have room at the top for a title. We don't have to offset it. We just use this for that. However you want to handle that, that's not really that important. But what I would do is, is I'm going to just drag this in like that. I'm going to pull this down and then I'm going to center it like so. And I'm going to grab this inventory panel itself, the actual window. And I'm going to add a graphic to that. One of the graphics that we have in. Oh, this is opening up on the wrong display. No problem, though. I'm going to make that panel. And I'm going to turn up the alpha. Why is that opening over there? It's kind of annoying. Okay. Turn up the alpha so we can actually see it. And we'll notice that it is stretching that border. That's because it's on slice. If I turn this up to tiled it can just repeat the border along the edges. And that looks fine. You might want to fine tune that a bit, work with that a bit, and get what you want it to look like. But for the purpose of this video, that looks great. Now the slot panel itself is not going to have a panel. I don't really care about that. I'm going to turn that to no sprite and I'm going to turn the alpha down on that. We don't need to see the graphic for that. No reason to have that. Now within slot panel, what I will have is I will have a slot crazy so slot this will be a single slot we'll have you know 30 of these in this inventory and within each slot we will have a another image that will represent the item itself so we'll call that item so i have a slot within a slot panel and we'll have multiple of these just to give you an example i'll delete or duplicate those we'll have all these inside there like that and within each slot we'll have an item this will represent the actual item within the slot so the item will have all the item data on it. It will have the sprite for it. And we can drag that around and drop it in different slots. Stuff like that. Pretty cool. And slot will actually just be the container for that item. All right. Now, I want to take slot. And I want to give it a slot graphic. I'll be using button square. And within that, there is another graphic here called item. So let's make this for now just, let's see. Let's go to items. I'll grab all of these. I'll make that a sprite and I will apply that. I go to item and I will grab one of these items. Just see what it looks like. I'm going to grab the slot and we're going to make this look kind of like an inventory real quick. I'm going to drag this down. Let's give it a size of like, uh, let's see, 60 by 60. Again, we'll have to adjust all this later on, I'm sure. And now item within that, I want this to be the size of the item that it's of the uh, slot that it's in for now. So I'm going to set this to stretch in all directions and I'll set it to I just top left it. We'll make these 40 for now. Let's make the slot 50. I think it's too big. We'll work on that in a bit, but what I want to do now is I want to change the color of the sprite that is the slot. And I'm just going to adjust this slightly. Let's see, I can make it, let's make it a bit darker, yeah, that'll work. All right, and I know now that the inventory itself is on stretch. I want it to just be, a, just pinned to the side of the screen, no stretching for now. All right. So if we have a slot that is going to be 50 wide and 50 tall, our inventory panel will have to adjust accordingly to that. So let's see. Say we want four across, it's gonna be 200. We're gonna have some padding in there, stuff like that. So 
We'll do that math in a bit to see what we could do with that. But for slot panel, I want to add something to that. I want to add the grid layout group. And this will allow me to adjust the layout, allow it to adjust the layout automatically to create a grid from the items that are within it. So what I want to do is I'll say the cell size is gonna be 60 by 60, or what I say, 50 by 50? We'll do 60 by 60, I think that's, ah, we'll go back and forth on it, I'm sure. And we'll do the padding to be 10 maybe? I don't want that to be off the sides actually, so that'll work like that. And the bottom probably shouldn't be either, just the top so we have room for the title. And the slot, let's see. I still think that should be centered. Just center that up for now. I'm gonna grab this and drag it out some. And just see what it's gonna look like. Let's go ahead and grab the slot and duplicate it a few times to get an idea of how this is gonna lay out. Now what I wanna do is I wanna add some padding for this. So go to slot panel. Actually needs to be spacing, not padding. Yeah, padding's acting as the actual area around the margin around the boundary. The spacing itself is the element spacing. It doesn't actually change the padding, padding per child, it changes the padding on the parent. Spacing is the padding per child. So to adjust that, we did that just like that, no problem. But the left, I would like this to be 10 off and the right would also be 10 off and that causes an issue so what we have is we have 10 spacing so we have 10 so it's 20 per element with 200 so that's 80 280 and then the spacing would be 300 so if we make it 300 wide my math is probably just completely off if we make it 300 wide that should be that's wrong so that'd be what 280 why is our math so wrong and that's right there, but I don't know how I calculated that incorrectly. But you get the idea. Make sure you have enough room for the fit. You could add a content fitter to this, but I don't know if that's going to always work how we expect it to with the grid layout. I've not tried that for this. We'll be using that actually for the uh, for the tooltip, but not for the actual inventory window itself. I can just manually drag that up and get an idea of where it's going to be. So the height on that would be 280 plus the... I'm going to grab the slot panel and I am going to just bring it down. Let's get an idea here. The top's going to be 20 off. That gives us room for the title which we'll add real quick. I'm going to add another UI panel. Push this to the top. I'm going to call this a title panel. Now within this, I will add a text. And I will call this just title. And I will go ahead and make this center and center. I'll adjust this so it matches the boundaries of its parent. And the actual panel itself will have a button long element. So that's tiled. Probably need to be if it's too so small anyway. I'm going to turn up the alpha on that quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and center this. Put that to the top center. drag this in actually a bit all right now notice the text looks like it's not centered because of the element having that uh, that little drop shadow that that depth effect going on there so to fix that I'll just uh, drag this up to match where the center or the bottom should be just like that and I will put inventory the color here will match. So we'll grab that and I'll just darken it a bit. And I believe this is going to be too small. So let's grab this and make it a bit bigger. 
that works. That looks pretty good. So the way this is going to work in the future, in the next few videos, is what we're going to do is we're going to populate the slot panel with slots when the game loads. Then we're going to load the inventory, and then we're going to populate those slots with the items that should be in the inventory. And that will be, for an example, slot here would be the second slot in the inventory. So second slot is supposed to have a golden sword, which it does, so that's correct. This item will have that image. It will have the item data that it needs. The slot itself will be responsible for handling just the drag and drop, while the item will contain the item data for the stack amount, the actual item information that's in there, the tooltip, stuff like that. So that'll take care of all of that. And that's pretty much it. And when you drag and drop, the idea is just to, just to uh, drag this item from there down to there, and then we can do that update its position, update its position in the inventory itself, like the actual behind the scenes inventory, and that will be all there is to it. So there's not a lot going on here. It's just getting it all to work together nicely. So in the next video, we'll be uh, making our item database. This will be loading information from the JSON file, converting it to a C-sharp object, and using that to populate our inventory. A lot of stuff to come. This was just an introduction to what we're going to be doing. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Austin, and I will see you next time.